haven't yet subscribed, do it now. Hello guys, welcome back to the Freddie Hale Football Podcast. This is episode eight of the podcasts. A massive thank you to all of you for the recent support. I really do appreciate it. As, as expected, this video is going to be my Europa League preview ahead of the Arsenal Benfica game. I cannot wait for this game. I think it's going to be an excellent game. But let's get into the video. But before we do, can I have seven likes on the video? That would be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go down there and subscribe. Shall we get into the video? Let's go. Now, coming into this game, I'm actually quite nervous because I know Benfica are a very good and capable team. But as an Arsenal fan, I'm very hopeful our boys can come through and get the result. It's going to be a very tough game. We all knew that it was going to happen when, we, when the draw uh, commenced. But I'm hopeful we can get the win. Aubameyang, if he, if he plays, I'm not sure if he is going to play, but if he does, I'm hoping he gets a goal. Obviously, Benfica have some very good players like Otamendi, Vertonghen, Pizzi. Those three players are the players I'm going to look out for in this game. But Benfica coming into this, apparently they haven't been on the best of form. And hopefully Arsenal can, obviously even Arsenal haven't been on the best of form either. So I'm hoping Arsenal can put their bad form behind them and get a result in this game. I'm going to do a bold prediction in this video as well. So I might as well do this now. I'm going to go with a 2-1 Arsenal win. I think it's going to be a very close game. Both teams are going to be pressing, pressing forward. Loads of counter-attacking football in this game. I'm hoping Matt Ryan plays because give Leno because it gives Leno a rest. But I've I've seen the Benfica goalkeeper. I'm not sure how to say his name, but I'll give it a go. Blackamodis. He's quite a good young goalkeeper, so hopefully we can get goals past him because I know he's quite a decent goalkeeper. But I'm I'm hoping we can get the result. I'm hoping we can score, but anything can happen. And obviously there is other games going on in the Europa League tonight, such as Wolfsburg or Tottenham, Sociedad versus Man United. And as I'm currently recording this, it is 1-0 to Man United. So hopefully Sociedad can get a result against Man United because I hate Man United. And hopefully Wolfsburg can beat Spurs because I hate Spurs too. But if Arsenal get through this round, I'm hoping for a nice easy draw because... I know that we can struggle against big teams. We've seen that in the Champions League. And to be honest, Arsenal probably need an easy run to get to the final of this year's Europa League because there are some good teams in the Europa League still. AC Milan, Spurs, Leicester, Man United, the list goes on. And if I was going to do a team for tonight's game, I'll start. I'll give you my team now. So in goal, I'm going Matt Ryan. Left back, I'll give Tierney a game because he's just come back from an injury. Centre backs, I'll go with Louise and Gabriel. I think we've got to go for a strong centre back pairing. Right back, I'm going to go with Cedric because Cedric has been on form. Yes, he made a mistake in the I can't what game it was, but he did make a mistake, and I'm really hoping he doesn't make a, make another mistake again. But hopefully, Cedric plays at right back. Then I'm hoping we play like a four three three, so maybe like. A, a Tobias, Shaka, and Smith Rowe, maybe? Smith Rowe playing front. I'm hoping for a 4 3. And then Martinelli, Inke uh, Aubameyang, Pepe. That's what I'm hoping for. Lacazette will be on the bench. But hopefully, when Lacazette comes on, he can get us a goal. I'm not too sure whether he will, but who knows? Lacazette's been proving me wrong this season, so who knows? Anything can happen. But if if there's any Arsenal fans watching this video, let me know, guys, over my Instagram, which will be at the end of this video. So stay right to the end, and you can see where my uh, what my account's called, and head over there and give me a follow while you're there. But this game's going to be very tough for both teams. Benfica, a, a very good team and capable team, so it's going to be a tough game. Both teams are off form, but... I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can come through with the three, with the three points. What game is this? A group stage game. I'm hoping we can come away with a good result. And obviously, it's played at a neutral ground today as well. So something a bit different. It's going to be played at the Stadio Olimpico in Rome. A bit of a different scenery, seeing though, seeing as we could have played at Benfica's ground, but due to Portugal's restrictions, we couldn't play there tonight. So I'm hoping that it's 
because it's a neutral ground, it's going to be different for both teams, obviously, because I don't know Benfica's current form at home, but if Benfica's record at home was good, then I would have been more nervous going into the game. But seeing, it, seeing as it is at a neutral ground, I'm hoping we can get a result. I want you guys to leave me your predictions over my Instagram. And also, if there's any Portuguese fans watching this or anything like that, let me know what Benfica are like. They're, they're playing styles like. Do they sit back? Are they a counter-attacking team? Guys, let me know because I'd be really inclined to know. Because obviously next week will be the second leg, which will be our home leg, which I believe is being played at Olympiacos. And obviously Arsenal fans, you know what happened when we played uh, Olympiacos last time, when El Arabi scored. And Abamia missed that great opportunity at the end. I was there, awful, awful game, and we went out in the round of 32. So fingers crossed we don't go out in the round of 32, because that would be dreadful. And we wouldn't... <laughs> It would be the end of our season, pretty much, because, let's be honest, we're not going to win the Premier League this season. We're so far off. Man City are flying this year, so we won't win the Premier League. So Europa League is our only hope, and hopefully we can... I'm hoping we can win Europa League, but it's going to be very tough because there are some great teams left in it. And uh, looking at the bookies and where they're saying that we're going to... Uh, on like. The favourites, sorry, uh, we are fourth favourites. So, fingers crossed we can get get through this round, progress into further rounds. But, who knows, I'm hoping we can counter-attack, hit them on the break, because we really need, if like from a corner, I don't know if they're deadly from corners, but if they're deadly from corners, we just need to get, Matt Ryan needs to come out like that, pick it up in his hands, roll, throw it out, and play play out. Even if we don't play out from the back, just go counter-attacking and get the goals that we need. Because I'm hoping we can get goals, because even if we get, let's say, we get two goals in this game, we, I'm just hoping Benfica don't score, because second leg, that could have an effect on whether we go through or not, but fingers crossed it doesn't. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they don't we don't concede, for example, because knowing Arsenal, we do like to concede goals. And fingers crossed we don't concede any goal tonight because, you know, Ben Beaker could come out and in the second leg and go and beat us because that's Arsenal's luck at the end of the day. So fingers crossed we can get a result, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Freddie Hell Football Podcast. Goodbye for now.